This is the sixth day of the truce and the second day of this extension. We are waiting to see if it's going to be extended further. If not, fighting could resume Thursday morning. What we're seeing Wednesday night are the release of 12 hostages from Gaza. So far, two have been released. The rest should be released fairly soon. We're also expecting to see 30 Palestinian prisoners come out as well as part of the deal. Up until now, there have been 81 hostages released. 60 Israelis, 21 foreign nationals, and 180 Palestinian prisoners. But there are still expected to be about 140 hostages who remain in Gaza, among them 35 women. Now there is a huge push right now for mediation and diplomatic efforts to extend the ceasefire. Egypt has said, Egypt officials have said that they have a positive feeling about it and they think it will extend. The United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken said they are really pushing for the ceasefire to continue both to get the hostages home and to get more aid into Gaza. Now what has been happening until now is that there's been an exchange for women and children for Palestinian teenagers and women. But there are only about two to three days left of women and children to extend the ceasefire. After that is men and soldiers, at which point it could become more complicated. If Israel wants its men and soldiers out, Hamas might demand the same thing on that side, and Israel might disagree with that, or they might need to create a new terms of the deal, which could take time and fighting could resume in the meantime. Whatever happens though, Israel has made it very clear that this is just a pause and it is going to continue with its war offensive. On Wednesday, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that as successful as the hostage deal has been so far, there is no circumstance where this war is not going to keep going. Meanwhile, in Gaza, the humanitarian situation is becoming more and more dire. On Wednesday, the World Health Organization rang the alarm and said there was a huge surge of respiratory infection, diseases, diarrhea diseases, and this is only expected to get worse as it gets colder as the war continues. They said that before the war, there were about 3,500 hospital beds. Now there are about 1,500. People have moved from the north of Gaza, where Israel had the most of the fighting, to the south. There's about more than 2 million people crammed in southern Gaza at the moment, sharing small spaces, having a little bit of water, a little bit of bread, sleeping on the muddy ground. Israel has said that it's going to expand its offensive south, and when it does so, it's told people to go into these kilometer-wide safe spaces. But aid groups have pushed back, saying that they're not safe spaces unless all sides agree to it. The United States has told Israel that when it expands its offensive south, it needs to have more precise, more precision attacks not like it was doing in the north of Gaza, where Israel has been accused of indiscriminately killing civilians. Sam Mednick with the Associated Press for CGTN in Jerusalem.